Hey guys, how are you all doing today? And today we'll be watching Orphan. It's on Netflix as a horror movie about a killer child. Let's read what it says in the synopsis. More info. She's such a sweet little girl. But when bad things happen, don't turn your back on her. She's old beyond her years. Oh. Okay, so, okay, the obvious comparison to this is the Omen films, Damien, your boy Damien, but, yeah, this is interesting, it doesn't sound original, but I've heard good things about it, so, and the girl in the poster looks fucking creepy, so, all good signs, so, let's do this, let's motherfucking do this, boys and girls, three, two, Wait, 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 three, two, one, go. Congratulations, Mrs. Coleman, it's a girl. What the fuck? I'm looking forward to the third movie. See where it goes. I have not seen the spin-off movies. Because I don't give a fuck. I only care about the country movies. I just, I don't know, like, I just feel like, I watched one of them, The Curse of La Irona, when they use fucking, was it eggs to stop the ghosts? I don't fucking know. Oh, she's deaf. That's interesting. I like that. I like that. Interesting, you know, character to have. So, we have a deaf child. I have an uncle who's deaf, so, you know, I understand that. You know? Are you okay? Is that what he sound? Ah, why were they doing this scene? Yeah. Makes you relate to the child. Oh, I see what you did there, filmmakers. I see what you did there. I wish it all night to be my new babysitter. Baby sister, not sitter. But when mummy and daddy came home, mummy told me that my little sister. Oh, yeah. Hello, kitty on the wall. I have the exact same one in my room. I'm joking, I don't. Of course I don't. <laughs> Can you imagine if I did and I told you that? I would get terrorized by all of you in the comments. Yes. Oh, fucking people. So you adopt an evil bitch. Is that what happens in this movie? <laughs> Jesus. That was a mixture of a cough and a laugh. If you noticed, I was like, <laughs> Saint Marianella for girls. So she wants a girl in particular because of Jessica. Hello. My name is Esther. What's yours? Oh, uh, Esther. John. Nice to meet you. She was on the poster, so she is the crazy bitch. The family that brought the her to snowy. America. The I snow in the fire. background. A fire? My God. Esther barely got out. She's been through a lot, but... House fire. This bitch. Her, name's, her name rhymes with Lester from GTA 5. So I'm concerned. Now it's your house too. These people are loaded, man. Fucking loaded. What's their job? Fuck me. <laughs> the kids aren't impressed. Hello, Daniel. Hey. Who shakes hands at that age? Come on, man. She is too mature. Why does she dress like that? Oh, come on. Stop it. Asking me <laughs> I'll be that kid if I if I was in this movie. Guitar Hero. The Guitar Hero game is fucking amazing. 
what the fuck happened to those games, man? I remember playing it on the 360 on like the guitar. We had a guitar as like I like kids as right now. Dude, it's all in here. <laughs> Guys are barely even ten. This looks like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of Step Brothers, when uh, Dale and what's his what's what's Will Farrell's name in that movie? Gay term. And I didn't go to AA. I just stopped drinking. Same difference. We all need a wake up call sometimes. Okay, you fucking judgmental cunt. <laughs> yeah. Fuck her. What 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 does she know? What was I saying? Will Faro, what was his fucking character's name and Step Brothers? Those two were fucking reading poor magazines and his fucking younger brother goes up and fucking Dale punches him in the face. That is, we have to watch Step Brothers. I just fucking love that movie. It's one of my favourite comedies of all time. My reaction, even though I've seen it several times already, is just, just me laughing. Like every two minutes. I'm gonna get it on. Oh, don't do that. That reminds me of The Grudge. I don't want that shit. They're gonna have six. Master. Oh, you creepy little bitch. You Russian crazy bitch. That's not creepy at all, you creepy little bitch. I wanna sleep next to daddy. Uh, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> if I was that dude or that gal, I'll be pissed. Bitch, I know you do, but I'm enjoying some kinky time. Oh look, little Bo Peep texts me. She wants her outfit back. Little Bo Peep. I don't get the reference, bitch, but fuck you. <laughs> yeah, she gave you an evil stare. You fucked the wrong Russian. <laughs> Did you kill it? Just a paintball. I didn't think it hurt him. What do you mean? You see the size of it? <laughs> You dumb piece of shit. Put it out of its misery. <laughs> Put it out of its misery. It's alright. It's in heaven now. Jesus freak brought a Bible to school today. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna turn to Carrie and fucking kill you, bitch. Little doggy, is this your collar, little doggy? <laughs> I feel like there's a real connection. Mm, I tell. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are horny. I bet you West intervenes again. Oh. What the fuck? Esther. What the fuck? Esther, stay in your room, you fucking weirdo. Two times now. One time is okay. Two times it's too far. Each other that loud. They want to express it. I know. They fuck. <laughs> How old are you? She could have picked it up anywhere. Well, she probably picked it up at school. I wouldn't go in there. I would stay outside of the other kids if I was scared of Esther. Ooh. And Max saw that too. Crazy bitch. And she wears all black. And did you see what happened? Oh, Max. Come on. No, you're encouraging bad behavior. Max, be a good girl. Don't lie. Lying's bad. Apologize to your sister. God damn it, dude. She's not my fucking sister. Oh. He's naughty. I did not fuck somebody else. You put our child... Nobody would have blamed me. Oh, that's sharp. That's sharp. Where did you get that from, your mother? 
Esther did that on purpose. Fucking little shit stirrer. So this came out ages ago. Not ages ago. Because Guitar Hero was like, boom. Late 2000. I was like 360, 2008. The trouble does have a way of finding her. What kind of trouble? You didn't know this before? Two girls get into a fight. There she is. Someone gets caught stealing. Oh, how convenient. She again. While she was there, there was a boy who fell with a pair of scissors in his hand and accidentally stabbed himself through the jaw. And Esther was there again. I don't understand. He accidentally stabbed himself. Oh, shut up, pal. Are you stupid? We're dealing with a nine-year-old girl who's an orphan. No, that's it. Okay. We're taking her to Dr. Browning. We can take her to Dr. Browning. Dude, you don't even know this chick. You don't even know this kid. And you're assuming she's his fucking angel. There is a thing called being two-faced, okay? You can be someone else, but be something totally different behind someone's back. That's how shit works. What the fuck, Max? Oh, this kid's under the influence. <laughs> Esther's a bitch. I bet you regret helping her now, don't you, Max? What the fuck? What kind of kid is this? You raised this kid. Well, no one did because she's an orphan. You pushed her into a road where a car nearly ran her over. What if Sister Abigail didn't fucking notice? You knew the risks of that. You don't give two fucks because you're an evil biatch. Oh. If I find out that you're lying, I'll cut your hairless little prick off before you even figure out what it's for. Do you understand me? <laughs> you piss yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck's wrong with this bitch? I don't understand this kind of thing who would do this. You think it's anything else? Okay, I'm sorry. But if this lady came to you and told you about a case of arson, a case of fucking someone getting fucking scissors through their jaw, some fucked up shit, right? And then she gets fucking killed herself five minutes later after she leaves. Leaves. It's pretty fucking convenient, don't you say? You are getting along with Esther. Kid, you better fucking say something. Yeah. Yeah, well. oh, I hate when fucking movies do that. Has she ever made you feel uh, uncomfortable? Has she done anything that she's not supposed to do? No. I guess she. Kids. You fucking retards. Esther, what did you do? God. She didn't. No, you showed her too. She did that. Oh, that bitch. That fucking bitch. That bitch. She did that. She did that shit on purpose. Wow. Fucking bitch. Fucking arsewipe. Fucking. I would have fucking broke a neck. Because she knew full well what those meant to her. Oh, fuck this arsewipe. I'll kill her, I will. I'll kill her. i kill her. i kill her. Why, why are you putting your arm in that vice? What? Oh, no. What are you doing? 
I don't like this. No, I don't want to watch this. I, I don't. I don't like that shit. Love the snowman. It, it gives this nice feel to the movie. It probably makes no sense, but it's just good. Good. What are you doing? Mom! If this kid dies, I'm gonna get so pissed off now. Oh my fucking god. Oh fuck, that isn't so bad. That could have that could have ended really badly. Esther's a fucking cunt. She's a cunt. Dude, you're too fucking loud. Oh fuck you. Fucking the grudge wanna be bitch. Jessica, your cheating husband. Esther? Give it to me. Where you hide your wine bottles? I'm I'm warning you right now. She was so oh, hit her. when the doctor told me She wants you to hit her. Phantom fetal movement. For sixteen days I carried Stop my it. dead baby inside me. Esther, it was the cruelest torture. Just grab her throat. Who the fuck are all these guys? Who the fuck are all these random guys in a fucking Bible? Oh, why are you doing this by yourself? How about you get your fucking mom to help you? Oh, God. Well, I haven't even told you her name yet. You do not understand. Sarn Institute is not an orphanage. It is a mental hospital. A mental hospital? What the fuck's going on? So she's fucking... She was a patient at a mental hospital. <laughs> Fucking skanks, fucking fart whore bitch, cunt, fanny licking fucking bitch tard dickwad. Don't worry, you're going to have My girl. Add a girl. Well done, Max. So proud of you. Mother was there. It's either Esther or Daniel who started the fire. Who do you think it was? I don't Wake the know. fuck up. Yes. This guy needs to wake the fuck up. He doesn't know who the fuck she is, but she's so adamant that she is perfect. Wake up. Get the fuck out of here. What? What, what is it, sweetie? Killed him. She fucking killed him. What did you do? Hey, what did you do to him, you bitch? Stop, stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep screaming, Daddy, you. Oh. You know what? If a big black guy with a big black cock rammed his dick up his ass, he wouldn't even fucking notice. You are a dumb motherfucker. This guy's a fucking moron. Max knows it too. Look at you. What did you do to your face? What is this? Is she trying to hit on his... Is she trying to hit on him? This is just weird. I don't love you like that. That's creepy. That's the way Kate and I love each other. Why does she want to be over? She's only she's like ten. Tomorrow we're gonna have a conversation about your future in this house. Besides, I can't do it. I just I can't do it anymore. Fine. 
She put mascara on and everything. What do you think you're gonna fucking do? Give him a blowjob? Really, a little girl. She's a grown woman. What? She has a rare hormone disorder. It's called hypopituitarism. It causes proportional dwarfism. She only looks like a child. According to our records, Lena Klammer was born in 1976. She's 33 years old. What the fuck? She's dangerously ill. Violent. She killed seven people that we know of. Uh, oh my god. How could she fool us? She's been passing herself off as a little girl for most of her life. She tricked the family here in Estonia into adopting her. When she couldn't seduce the father, she killed him and his whole family. Then she burned the house down. Yes. This dude's drunk out of his mind. Oh, she, he's gonna fucking die. This guy has been nothing but fucking annoying in this movie. She's very horny for some things with you. She's gonna rape your ass, dude. Prison style. Oh my god. Come on, Johnny. Come on. Pick up the fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> How about you block the knife? Oh god, it's too late. You get murked. Now do me a favor. Now kick this dwarf's fucking asshole. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> you biatch. 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 Now I want you to um, get a neck and just break it, please, just for me. She's had a really tough fucking, you know, she went through that situation with the baby, the alcohol, fucking boyfriend cheating on her, boyfriend not believing her, then you get Esther. It's not a recipe of a good life, I'll just tell you that. <laughs> you fight ghosts in your spare time, Vera Famiga, come on. You can beat this bitch. Ooh, she made things a bit. Oh, oh, that must be freezing cold. Jesus. Don't let me die, Mommy. I'm not your fucking mommy! <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like I broke a neck. Good. Stay down there, you fucking loser. Fucking... Bitch, how many times have I said bitch in this video? Please count. There's the police always showing up when this shit's already happened. So that was Orphan. And the full movie I found on Netflix, this was pretty darn good. Now, I like the concept of this nine-year-old girl named Esther. And I like the twist, you know? It's not because she's, you know, fucking Satan or whatever. It's because... She was, she's actually an adult. She's got this um, disorder, this hormonal disorder where she's naturally, you know, she's a dwarf pretty much. And she, obviously, she, she hates that. She hates that because she wants to make out with these guys. And she was trying to make out with that guy who's a fucking moron. And obviously, that's why she wants to push Vera Famiga's character away. And obviously get her fucking, you know, away from the family, but... Yeah, this is a typical, I won't say slasher movie, but this, this is a really well done thriller with some horror elements. Now, I love the mood of this movie. I love the snow. I love that feel of it. It, it feels like a good moody horror movie. And I'll give it credit. It has great suspense. It has great moments. Great, great intense moments. And the character of Esther, the girl who plays her, fuck, you know, just a good, good, just darn good job at playing this fucking unlikable fucking skank 
<laughs> I don't know what. Over, you know, from the minute I saw her, I just wanted to snap her neck. And not because I hate children, it's because I could tell there was something off about her. But that poster, you know, she is a creepy looking girl in this movie. And obviously she isn't a girl. She's a fucking person. An, a person. An adult. And it, it makes sense what the synopsis was saying. Right, so she's old beyond her years. I see why. I, I was a bit confused what that meant, but now I know what that meant. I'm a smart person. Not really. So, yeah, I lied Farrah from Mika's character. She was well-developed. You rooted for her. She, she, You could tell she's bought through adversity. Her husband cheated on her. And... Um, she lost her baby. Um, she alcoholic. She only she only lost Max through an incident due to her drinking. She is a person who had to go through a lot of adversity, and you root for her as a character. And obviously, that goes against her when she tries to get everyone to believe her that Esther is a fucking scumbag piece of shit, little bitch, because fucking John doesn't believe her, and this guy's a fucking idiot. This guy needs to fucking wake up. Well, he can't now. He's dead. But this dude was so fucking stupid and so blind. I, you don't even know this girl from the orphanage. You don't even know who she is. But you rather just fucking not believe. You know, I just found him stupid. And all these things that were happening. The treehouse being on fire. Fucking the girl broke her leg from, you know, because she was pushed off the thing in the park. Something else happened to fucking Sister Abigail was killed just after she said Esther's, you know, she's she's suspicious. Like, dude, open your fucking eyes. All the signs were there. Either you're just dumb or I don't know. I just I feel like his character was written as you know, was purposely written in that way just to annoy the audience. And that was his only purpose, you know. And obviously, he is used to prolong the story because if they all find out, hey, it's her, the movie ends a lot quicker. But yeah, that part bothered me. But I liked everything else. The guy who played him was okay. I just didn't like what they used him for. And um, like I said, some good sequences, you know, and some shocking moments too. I, you know, I often compared it to The Omen in the beginning, but The Omen of its time and this is a nice kind of like a modern day but it's not really like the omen it's it's a bit more it's a bit different than that and um, the ending was great you know i'm not your fucking mommy and fucking kicks her so hard i think she breaks her neck she breaks her neck and it reminds me of aliens when newt is about to get you know was you know the fucking queen alien the queen xenomorph is, is trying to kill um, Newt and fucking Ripley's like, get away from her, you bitch. And I got the same feeling from this. And Vera Farmiga, she's a, she's, she's a great actress. And, you know, I enjoy her in the Conjuring movies. She's been in more movies too. I, let's see where, what movies she's been on. Let's research this movie too, actually. Let's see what he says. Orphan. Orphan movie came out in 2009. It's a, they say it's a psychological horror film. And I'll give the villain this. For example, in this poster, she is really creepy in this poster. You know, they. she was very smart. She was very well calculated. She was trying to separate her from the family. Trying to, trying to separate um, Kate from John so she can be with John even though, you know. Uh, and when that didn't work out, she wanted to kill them all. But, you know, she was smart. She wasn't stupid. And she's a very interesting villain. And it had some funny humour too when the, when the kid pisses himself and the shit Esther says. And apparently a prequel titled Esther is in development. But that's all it says. Okay. Yeah, she was in the, she was in the Departed. She played the shrink for um, Leonardo DiCaprio's character. Yeah, I remember that. And she's with um, Matt Damon's character but leaves him when she finds... Oh, I don't want to ruin the movie for you. But... That's good too. The boy in the striped pajamas. She was in that too. Up in the air. Safe house. Obviously the Conjuring movies. The George. She was in the George with uh, Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Robert Downey Jr. and um, Robert Downey Jr. and fucking Robert Duvall from the from the Godfather films. 
Yeah. The commuter, which is which has um, what's her face? What's his face? Um, Liam Neeson and Godzilla. Yeah, she's in quite a few movies. I recognize her in. Yeah, she's she's a good actress. You know, she's good in this movie. You rooted for her. She was a good protagonist, and she wasn't she wasn't stupid. She didn't. You know, she she was the first person first person to click on. And it did frustrate me. You know, certain scenes where Max and um, Daniel didn't say anything to him when. If they did, it would have changed the whole movie. You know, certain things like that kind of bothered me, but it was a decent little horror flick on Netflix. And compared to most horror flicks on Netflix, it's a fucking masterpiece. <laughs> so I enjoyed this movie. It's not bad, considering modern day... It's not modern day now, it's like 11 years old, so... But still, in this modern la- modern day horror movie landscape, if it, it's one of the better ones, 100%. A good, um, a good ending... And a good um, suspenseful horror flick and with some great moments. And yeah, I think that's it. That's my reaction to Orphan. And next on the list will be Final Destination 2. And then I'll go on from there in that series. And I'll have to finish off the X-Men 2, X-Men First Class. So that's the, yeah, I hope you enjoy, I hope you enjoy this video. And uh, I will see you guys next time.